Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy, King CR7 here, back with another video. Before we get into this video, I just want to remind you all out there, the other kings and queens, and I hope you all are having a very, very blessed day. And I'm back with another NBA 2K23 demigod, game breaking, overpower, whatever you want to call it. But this is just a god tier build right here. In my honest opinion, as always, comment down below if I'm a fraud, if I'm wrong, if I'm a liar. Comment down below if after watching this this build video, you don't agree with me. All right. This is going to be the best perimeter lockdown build in NBA 2K23 next gen. So starting off with the position, you're going to want to go shooting guard. Trust and believe this is still going to be one of the most versatile builds. So shooting guard, whatever hand you want, right? You're going to be 6 foot 10, 180 pounds, and 6 10 wingspan. Make sure you go shooting guard to make this build as good as possible. I know some people are like, oh, what is the build like at small forward? I tried it out. The build is much, much better at shooting guard. So the first couple stats I'm going to go over and show you is, of course, I, I gassed it up. I said this is the best lockdown build so what is it going to do it's going to lock up your opposing point guard on the other team and you're going to put your perimeter defense all the way up to 95 next we move down to steel and your steel is going to follow closely with a 90 so you got that hall of fame clamp breaker gold clamps and with that 90 steel you're going to have gold interceptor so to start off you got 15 badge points right and like i said this build is a build, probably one of the best defensive builds, perimeter and kind of paint-wise, right? Say that guard blows by you, don't worry about it. We'll put up our, our interior defense 80 real quick, right? Oh, wait, you don't got block. How are you going to stop him? Ah, uh, don't worry about that. We're going to put up our block to 70, I want to say 78. Yeah, you max out the block. So you got 20 total defensive badges. Six foot seven, six ten wingspan. You're blocking all those little point guards. Trust and believe. Not only that, but you're going to be very quick. You're going to have 81 speed. Let me just double check on the phone. Make sure I put that correctly. You're going to have 83 speed with 71 acceleration, right? Uh, not 71, 81 mental air. Um, so with Jim Rat, you're going to have 87 speed and 80, 85 acceleration. Crazy, bro. With 95 perimeter defense, right? But what does the lockdown have to do? Your lockdown has to guard on ball and he's got to be able to spot up and wet that thing from deep right so you're gonna put your uh three point shot all the way up to a 93 bang just like that max out 24 shooting badges bro that's crazy now you say okay i could defend it's pretty fast actually let me also fix this up let me make sure i get these attributes correct so your stamina is going to be 93 your strength you're going to max it out so you're not a little boy you're not a little boy you're going to have good strength, 67, and then your vertical, you're going to put this up to a 60, right? Um, and then in terms of, oh, can this build, like, touch the ball at all, or is it just going to sit in the corner? In the park, I would say this build could definitely hang around on the ball a little bit and create its own shot. You're going to have 80 ball handle, and you're going to not max out speed with ball. Let me let me change that. You're going to get a 81 speed with ball and then your pass actually of course you want to make sure you could get your passes to your teammates when you see them open you want to dot them you want to make sure that pass doesn't get there like molasses so 70 pass accuracy this feels looking crazy so you got 97 overall max the rest you just throw on your driving dunk and you get up to a 76 driving dunk throw up your free throw and let me just do a double check on the attribute count make sure i got everything correct yeah, I got everything correct. So let's recap it. You get 76 driving dunk, pretty decent. 93 three pointer, 80 ball handle, 81 speed with ball, uh, 95 perimeter, 90 steel, 83 speed, 81 acceleration. All at six foot seven with a 6'10 wingspan. Let's go ahead and pick our takeovers. Uh, start off, I guess, with uh, extreme clamps and then limitless range, just like that. And I'm going to show you guys what the build's name is. If it comes out correct, like the first time I built it, pretty unique, unique name. Maybe not in years past, but I, I've been in the builder system for freaking hours. And you get a 3 and D2 guard, which is a pretty cool build in my opinion. Let's go ahead and show you the badges. So first with finishing, like I said, you don't get many, but you could throw Giant Slayer Bronze, Rise Up Bronze, Acrobat Bronze, Back Down Punisher Bronze. Uh, maybe a little bit of, just throw all these on Bronze, honestly. Postman Technician Bronze, just like that. Now you're shooting, which is very, very, very important, right? You're going to want to throw Limitless Range. You're going to use that as your core badge, just like that. Um, then after that, you're going to put Amped, 
uh, actually not amped, excuse me, Claymore, because you're spotting up most of the time, put that Hall of Fame, guard up, throw that on silver, catch and shoot, Hall of Fame, corner specialist, depends where you're going to sit up on the court, you could throw that thing on, on gold, and then you also have blinders and dead eye over here, honestly, I would throw probably... I would, for now, I'd go gold blinders. Just make a, a high arcing uh, jump shot that has like negative like defensive impact. So you don't really need that eye this year, in my opinion. And that's how that's how I would set up my badge. It's really really good in terms of your playmaking. You also get 18 playmaking for a spot up lock, which is insane. Your dimer, throw that. Uh, throw it on bronze. Uh, what would I say? I would say unpluckable, throw that as your core badge. Vice grip, throw that on silver. A quick first step silver. Hyperdrive, you could throw that on gold. Bailout, you don't need. And the last thing I would do, maybe throw like. You're not going to really help out with a lot of rebounds, so you don't need a break starter. Maybe like. I don't know actually. Throw bra throw diamond on silver if you got that dot vision. And then for the last three badges, throw uh, bailout on bronze. Now your defensive badges, how you're gonna lock up everybody in the park. You're gonna wanna throw ankle braces on, I would say gold. Then down here though, what do I get Hall of Fame? Do I get any of these Hall of Fame? I don't. Challenger, effectiveness of well-contested uh, perimeter shots. You're just gonna be there anyways. You know, I feel like that's not too helpful of a badge. Clamps, don't use that as your core badge. And then you're gonna wanna use, let me take a look. Anchor, protect the rim, not really. Chase down, throw that on bronze. Uh, menace on gold, I would put. And then you got nine badges. You wanna make sure actually you could do this you could do this interceptor i'll just throw interceptor on gold and then for your last three badges you're gonna want off ball pest silver or i only had two more badges off ball pest on silver we also do need pick dodger so let's throw menace down off gold throw it to silver and then pick dodger on silver take down off ball pest to bronze and then pick dodger all the way up to gold and that's gonna be the build guys i hope you guys did enjoy actually i do get a free core badge right can I, can I make, I can't make any of these, my core badge. Can I make, all these are one. So put Aerial Wizard to core, just like that. But guys, that is going to be the build as always. Comment down below if you somehow made this build better than me. Comment down below the badge layout or comment down below how you would change this build because people are watching the video and then they scroll right down to the comments and they're seeing everybody's input and it's good as a community to come together and share your opinion. Obviously, if you disagree with me, I'm, I'm going to try to find out what you disagree with me on, but I'm not going to be like, bro, you're so wrong, this and that. Like, Obviously, none, none of us know 100% what this game is going to be like. So it's good to get different perspectives. But as always, guys, if you did overall enjoy the build video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your boy, Kingster7. I'm out. Peace.